Hi guys, the Aegis Tawny for the Radian Helm is now on and you'll find it on the map where I'm showing and once again it's five stages so we're into stage one and we need to do as many breaks as possible and the top 80% go through and it's a 100,000 gold reward. My tips for this stage are to use the Perfect Parry Stun Gems, Great Parry All Gem and Freeze Magic and I'll show you my build in a moment. So stage 2 is damage against Lilundre and we can't dodge. So I recommend using High Attack like Dark Fire, Perfect Parry Stun Gem and Freeze Magic and Titan Break Potions for longer breaks. On to stage 3 and it's dodging and the top 70% go through for 200,000 gold. So I recommend dual weapons, the unlimited dodge potion and also second chance potion because the Titan is one hit kill. So looking at stage four, and again it's damage against Saburai. And the top 50% go through to stage five and a thousand chips reward. So again, I recommend high attack like dark fire perfect parry stun and freeze magic for fast breaks and titan break potions for longer breaks so stage five the reward is the radiant helm for cyrus and it scratches with a one hit kill titan and the top 40 percent will win the helmet i recommend dual weapons and swiping over the center dodge and second chance potions to get round the one hit kill so looking at stage one build, I used many perfect parry stun gems and the perfect parry magic charge gem. And you'll see I stacked them in all my equipment. I used the gobbled turkey helm with the great parry all gem and freeze magic so that I can get more breaks. So stage one is against the fell siren and it lasts for 300 seconds. And this build works by stacking breaks with the perfect parry stun gem. So for 13 gems I get 13 breaks and the freeze magic boost parries. So with her moves, if you wait for her leg to be straight and do a vertical hit, then you'll get perfect parry with that overhead leg kick. And when she does a cartwheel from the side, it's a horizontal swipe just before she's about to hit you. So as I said, these perfect parry stun gems stack breaks. So for every perfect parry break I get, with 13 perfect parry stun gems, I get 13 breaks. And you can cast the freeze magic to end the break as well, to end it early. You can also use on break and on get hit magic charge gems for faster magic at the beginning, but you will get less breaks because you'll have less perfect parry stun gems. So I tried it the different ways and I found this was the best build with just perfect parry stun gems and the great parry all so that I could get more perfect parries. And when she hits out to the side and twists her body, it's a horizontal swipe to get the perfect parry against that arm hit. However, when she lifts her arm up and it's above her head, then that's a diagonal swipe and that will give you the perfect parry. So I hope this helps you get many breaks and check my video description for links to Potion Cookbook and also playing as a mage which I show using stacked perfect parries in that video as well. So I got 429 breaks using this build which put me at 97%. Hope to see you in stage 2. Thanks for watching Tamil Channel, your favorite channel for Infinity Blade. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages. Thanks, see you next time.